Jason, let's talk a little bit about that layoff. Um, is there even a, a more devastating injury than what you had to go through that Achilles rupture? Not that I know of. I mean, the rupture of Achilles tendon, it, I mean, it, it sounds like a shotgun going off, you know, almost like a balloon popping, and then it feels like somebody hit you with a baseball bat when you're not looking from behind. So it's a pretty, and then the recovery time, I wasn't able to walk on my own two feet for like six weeks, you know, you're, you're pretty uh, immobilized, and it takes a long time just to get back to training. So it's a fairly lengthy recovery to get to get back. You know, so I wasn't even sure if I was going to fight again. You know, when it initially happened because it's such a severe injury. But luckily, you know, I did the physio. I got back on my feet, talked to uh, the right people, and uh, I'm healthy. The UFC announced a, an Ottawa card, and I got to imagine that's a card that would probably interest you. But it would mean that you would probably have to wait a little bit. Um, Seeing as you came out of this last fight unscathed, which is more important to you, getting a fight sooner or possibly waiting for that uh, card in Ottawa? Yeah, I talked about it with my manager a little bit, and uh, we looked and see some of the fight cards that are coming up. There's like one in Croatia, but those cards, they're all fully booked. You know, they have like 13 fights on that card, so those those cards are fully booked, so it might be just best for me to just take a rest. I'm actually headed to... Uh, Costa Rica with my girlfriend on Monday, so I'm just going to go there for about uh, 10 days, rest up a little bit, and just uh, let the body heal up, and then uh, looking at uh, the June, July, so June would be UFC Ottawa, and then July would be UFC uh, 200, I believe, wouldn't it? UFC, uh, Vegas. Yeah, yeah, hard to pass that, pass that one up, so too, if they ask you for that one. Yeah, you know, I'd be preferably UFC Vegas would be the ideal one. But UFC Ottawa would be cool, too. I've actually never been to Ottawa, so it'd be in, uh, in Canada, my home country. So I'd be happy with either one, but I think uh, UFC Vegas would be preferable just because it, it would be like a massive, massive card. Let's go back to before the fight. I think before the fight I saw you tweet you got paid a visit by USADA. Um, yeah. t t tell me about that. You know, a lot of fighters feel like, oh, man, you know, they, they – they're clean, and they wish it wouldn't be like this. Uh, have they hollered at you many times, or was this the first time? I think it's great. I think the more you saw it comes around, the better, because if you're clean, what the hell do you have to worry about anyways? I think I'd rather see checks uh, all the time, random checks once a month, because that way you, you kind of weed out all the cheaters. Like, if you're clean, and you don't have to worry about how many times you go around and test. Yeah. You know, it's a little bit of an inconvenience or whatever, but I'd rather have that inconvenience than be fighting against the guy who's taking a banned substance and, and cheating. 